Good morning, everyone. Happy Thursday. Today is uh, January 30th, 2020. And uh, this morning we're doing something a little different. Uh, not reggae right now. We're playing African beat music. And uh, the name of this group uh, is Osibisa. And I found out about, found them uh, back in the uh, late 70s. Um, they were pretty, uh, pretty big back then. They're from, uh, their roots were, I don't know exactly where in Africa. But uh, they somehow got to uh, England, London area, and uh, that's where they're out of now. Is I don't know about now. I don't even know if the band still exists. Exists, but uh, this was uh, back in the uh, 70s. Was this? This was made. So we're gonna try this out today and see how it works. Well, there's something about, I'm starting to get paranoid uh, with YouTube. Uh, when I was uploading the uh, last videos, uh, one of the videos with the music uh, as it was uploading, <clears throat> after I had hit the share button, and then the music started uh, starting its upload uh, One of the videos where the music was was uh, For some reason Got a uh, white border around the frames of the music and and then all of a sudden I got a page drop down with all these different uh, categories of music, of music that I could play. And uh, reggae was one of them. Now I don't know if YouTube did this or I accidentally hit a button somewhere I didn't know, but uh, I don't know if anybody who plays music on their uh, on their video blogs, uh, let me know if this has ever happened to you. So I don't know if it's a hint or what. Um, well, who knows? Uh, I kind of overrid it somehow, so I got away from that particular uh, drop-down window. So, we'll see what happens with uh, this, this music here. I'm, I'm hoping, I think at some point I'm going to have to stop using my own songs put songs uh, what uh, AOL has to offer AOL uh, what YouTube has to offer so I'm uh, wanting to um, find a good site that has playable music and not like you know, like uh, movies out on Netflix and stuff. You know, they've got A, the A movies are the best. Then they have the B movies. I don't want to have any uh, B music. I want to have, you know, top, um, top rated songs. And here's one, here's one more song from Osibasa. Mm -hmm. 
Actually, it's not Osibisa. <laughs> this is uh, Ayaterra. They're a uh, American-based reggae group who's part of the uh, reggae uh, American ex American reggae explosion. And uh, I like them a lot. helpful if I had another person in the car with me today because I'm doing something a little different. Get too many uh, pieces of electronics in the car here. Feel like a police officer. They hardly got enough room to get in, uh, in the driver's seat with all the uh, electronics they have in there. Car washed. Go to the store. Go to the bank. And uh, a couple other things. And that should. Uh, I should be home by like three o'clock Eastern Standard Time. My wife's at work. I don't know if uh, all the songs from here on out are going to be Ayaterra or, uh, or just a variety of songs that I chose from my from a playlist. I had to stop that because I was getting some interruption from somewhere else. This isn't going to work too good. So, <clears throat> this is going to be back to uh, back to my own music. And let's see what's going on on the next uh, CD.
Okay, this group is uh, called Morchiba. And I don't think it's their best CD. So we'll just uh, go ahead with it. See what happens. to uh, get the car washed. Uh, I had the topic I wanted to talk about, but uh, I lost it. going to is called um, <laughs> forgot the name of it uh, it has a kind of a Mexican tex mess mex flavor to the name.
Well, the Shell gas station here on the corner on Beckley Road is uh, 249. Yesterday at Sam's Club, I got gas for uh, 207. Wow. That was at uh, Sam's Club. Panera's, a Shell gas station, a small motel, a tobacco shop, a party store, Bell Tires, uh, the Donut Mill, they call it, it's, uh, Sweetwater's Donuts, it's a popular place in the morning. people here. A lot of times I'll come in here and nobody's, uh, nobody's here but me. I've actually got a little bit of a crowd. Um, played this before uh, in one of my videos. I wonder if I'll get a copyright claim on uh, on songs that I played before and got a copyright claim. If I get a twofer. than what's on my computer that I can use to uh, move. I don't know, I'm using a uh, uh, memory card that's inside my new uh, camera that I'm inserting into my laptop. And I was wondering... Uh, any of you out there knew a program or uh, app that I can use to do uh, that to transfer music or to transfer my uh, videos to uh, YouTube? I mean, I can do it pretty easily when I'm using my phone. I just they got a big share program, so one of them is YouTube. I just hit uh, the YouTube share, and um, of the uh, videos that I want to share, and it automatically starts uh, downloading to uh, YouTube. 
I don't know exactly how to go about it using uh, particular programs I have. So to, I'm kind of inquiring if anybody knows what uh, programs I can use. like 12.30 Eastern Standard Time. So, and there's like, uh, well, about 10 cars here waiting. I wonder if they're uh, a lunchtime crowd. If they're getting their car washed on their lunchtime. Mission Car Wash, that's the name of it, Mission Car Wash. I think uh, I'm, I want a car wash today. <laughs> uh, the eight dollar car wash. Yeah. You you guys still uh, fold these these mirrors in or? We don't. But we can fold them in if you want us to. Well, I mean they just open up and close at random, don't they? Yeah, yeah, we'll just, okay, we'll just leave it. We'll just leave it the way it is. Okay, thanks. See ya, have a good one. Alright, so I think next time If I can get the other, I can get the, I'm sure I can uh, get my new camera and start using that. But as far as downloading the information to uh, YouTube, that's going to be a, a pain for right now. So hopefully by the next car wash. I'll turn the camera around and uh, you can get a car wash too. Put you right up front. That's what the noise is you hear. <laughs> it's like I'm in a cave. Well, I guess it is kind of a cave. number of car washes around town. Uh, people use uh, this one, this mission car wash, and then there's uh, one on Columbia Avenue. 
called uh, Remington. And that's more of a hands-on car wash where you get uh, more than just a wash. You know, you can have your uh, car cleaned on the inside as well as the outside. And that's, uh, that's a real popular car wash as well. Or a gas station. I guess that would be that would be the fastest would be the uh, gas station. And usually uh, they have those at uh, the Shell stations. Let's go back to the last song. Thank you. All right. Gave him a cut. Two dollar tip. I got the eight uh, eight dollar wash. I think the highest is nine dollars. I get a better wash. Uh, the nine dollar one is just. I don't know. They don't for what I wanted they didn't I wanted the underbody flush so I got the eight dollar wash and a two dollar tip so uh, let me know if you guys uh, do your own car washing or you uh, go to a car wash and uh, what do you think a fair tip is? I think two bucks is too much for a tip or, or not? Maybe you don't uh, even wash your car so well whatever. I think uh, I washed mine, I think this is the last time I had it washed was uh, oh, about maybe two or three weeks ago, so I don't, I don't wash it every week, and we've had uh, light snow so far in uh, where I live. We're going to the credit union right now.
fucked up recording at the credit union. Business area, this uh, this side of town. This is the highway part of town. Of the places that they have to eat in this area, <clears throat> I like. Uh, Chili's the best. This is the Myers gas station right here. I sometimes get gas there, but shoot, it's uh, 2.49. That's two uh, cents higher than Shell. We're on the last, uh, last CD. of the set of six. So I'm going to sit right here until this song's over with. This sounds like hip-hop to me. Okay, so from here, before the song ends, I'm going to say, uh, okay, I'm going to say, um, hope you've enjoyed the trip. Really no topic to talk about, just uh, rants and rays from uh, an old timer. Um, actually, the young people co would call me a boomer. So I'm going to get myself a t-shirt uh, on Amazon that says, uh, <laughs> it's a meme. I, I don't exactly know what phrases or whatever con con constitutes a meme. I wish somebody would give me the definition of it. But uh, it's a meme and then it says, okay, boomer, have a rotten day. <laughs> So I guess uh, they're tired of uh, boomers uh, trying to tell them stuff because, well, it's a different generation and that's what happens. You get uh, all these wise old people who uh, feel that they know what they're talking about no matter who they're talking to. And apparently the millennials, I think that's the generation of today right now, is 
I think it's millennial. I'm not sure. <clears throat> but I guess they're tired of boomers uh, talking down to them. So they just say, okay, boomer. <laughs> Have a rotten day. <laughs> okay. So anyway, um, one love, peace, and uh, blessings to everybody. Have a beautiful day, and we'll see you on the next one. Bye.